South Africa's Constitutional Court has ruled today that the private use of cannabis has been decriminalized. The Russian Defense Ministry has confirmed that a Russian military jet carrying 40 servicemen vanished over a Mediterranean Sea late last night as it comes under attack. The Syrian government has told the United Nations Human Rights Council that Syrian forces are determined to liberate Idlib. The United States government says it will dramatically reduce the number of refugees into the country from 45,000 to 30,000 in 2019. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un today held a summit with South Korean counterpart President Moon Yang-ing in Pyongyang which lasted about two hours at the headquarters of Workers' Party Central Committee.